guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really exciting and long overdue. We are going to be finished decorating my house. So we bought this house about 10 months ago and I really didn't have to buy much of anything whenever we moved in because we had just had our apartment for only like six months. So we just took everything from our apartment and it fit pretty perfectly in this house, which was really nice. So since we had it like 90% done, that last 10% I just haven't done and that's what we're gonna do today. So what this house really needs is just some finishing pieces like all of our walls are really blank So I want to add artwork. That's really like the main bulk of stuff So in our dining room in our bedroom in our bathroom in the guest bedroom all those walls are completely blank So I really want to finish them off and then in our bathroom I'm trying to decide if we should do like floating shelves and let it hold like towels and cute like bathroom decor or if we should just do like a picture frame in there. I'm not really sure. We'll figure that out together. The guest bedroom definitely needs a lot of work. It needs side tables. It needs like a little, I don't know about a dresser because we wouldn't really use the dresser, but maybe like a table or something just to really make the room feel complete. And in our bedroom, we actually just hung our TV finally. So now I'm able to actually decorate our dresser because before the TV was on it. So I need to get some things for that as well. So I've been filming a lot of clips from the past few days. So the first thing I did was that I went shopping. I went to Target and I found a few things. Then I went to TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I could not find a single thing, which I was really surprised about. But I forgot about literally my favorite store, which is Hobby Lobby. I just completely blanked. And so the next day I went to Hobby Lobby and I found gold, which I'll show you guys in a second. A couple days ago, Sam was off from work, so I really took advantage of that. And he spackled a lot of holes in our walls. And then he also hung up this set of picture frames that I knew exactly where I wanted it to go. So I didn't have to like put everything out and figure it out. So I had him do that because I knew that would take a lot of time because they were really heavy and they had to be like level and stuff And then the next day I painted over all of the holes that he patched So now I'm gonna show you guys everything I got to kind of put up on the walls We've got lots of options and then whatever I don't like I'm just gonna return. I could not decide I didn't know it would work So we've got a lot a lot of options I just organized everything and I actually just took this out of the box. It came today the box was just so damaged I was like, there's no way the picture is not but at least we'll get an idea of what it looks like. So I organized everything and specifically these three, I want to decide if it should go over our bed or not and I'm not sure which one I like the best. So we will test all of them out. This one's from Target, these two are from Hobby Lobby. I love the like vintage look. This one's a little bit more abstract. I also got this frame set from Target. Then this artwork is all from Hobby Lobby. I'm telling you guys, they had great stuff. I love this like vintage looking artwork. I love having birds around. I have one right there and I just have like others around our house and seeing birds just reminds me of Matthew 6. And then this is artwork that I already had. That was in our apartment and whenever we moved, like the frame just got really messed up. And then we have these decorations as well. So we're gonna start in our bathroom. You can see there's a huge blank wall right here, right above our bathtub. So I found these shelves at Hobby Lobby. I bought two of them. They're really thick, which I really wanted, but I don't know if they're long enough. So we'll see if these work and if they don't, then I'll probably just put like a picture frame up there. I have a feeling this shelf is gonna be way too short. But it would kind of go like that and then one above it. Yeah, I don't know if I love it. I really want to pick out what will go above our bed, but I think I'm going to wait for Sam to come home. One, to help me, and two, to get his opinion too. So let's work on the guest bedroom right now. It is mostly done. Like we've got the bed, we've got the rug. Really, we only need side tables. I would love to put a dresser here, but we don't really need a dresser in this room. So I'm maybe thinking like a small entryway table. And then I want to put like a collage right here. I think I'm going to do the collage on this wall. I've been deciding between this one across from the bed or this one next to the bed. And this is like a pretty big wall, but oh, I don't know. Hi guys, so it is the next day. I am not kidding when I say I was literally paralyzed with indecision yesterday. I could not decide where anything should go. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this tomorrow with a fresh start and with Sam's help. I don't know what happened, I just kind of froze. So today we're gonna finish everything up. And I think we're gonna start in our bedroom and kind of finish everything in here. And we have a very special guest. Can you sit down? Yeah, it's all good. Look how excited he is. Oh, we've decided before we hang anything up, we're gonna make some coffee oh, because yeah. 
Honestly, we're both really tired. <laughs> we shouldn't be. Yeah. Why shouldn't we be? It's know. Friday. I got a day off. We right? played golf this morning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you could have warned me it was gonna be that good. Okay, so these are our three options for our bedroom. These are the cheaper options. This is from Target. So we're just gonna see what we think is best. Three? Yeah. I like 32. All right, easy, let's hang it. Yeah, I don't like that in here. Yeah, that goes much better in here. Definitely like this piece of artwork in here. Only issue is, is that it's broken. So I guess we should order another one, return it. Guest bedroom now. So this is where I lost my cool yesterday. I got really stressed about what to hang where. So I couldn't decide if we wanted whatever piece of furniture we decide for in here to go against this wall or that wall across the bed. And I think we just decided that wall across the bed. So now the question is, what artwork do we want in here? So we have that one that we didn't use in the room. And then we also have these two, my buddy. And we also have all of those prints that I showed you guys earlier. I originally thought that I would want a collage, but I think that might just be too much, like just too busy, too much going on. So I think we're just gonna have to decide which ones we like best between those two options. Sam, so do you see that set of prints? Both of those on that wall, or maybe this one on that wall? Or no, we could video. do one and then two. That's what I was gonna say. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Here? Hey, whoa, whoa, I don't mean up here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sa hey! A long time ago, we were watching Knox and I was sitting in this chair and then he just like jumped up on me and tried to like sit on my shoulders. I'm pretty sure we've got a picture. I'll put them here, but it was hilarious. You're the Next up, guest bathroom. Option one. Uh. Option two. No. What is this now? Option six. Hi guys, it's a couple days later. Clearly I have everything in the back ready to be returned and we're gonna go to Target and get some things for our dresser in our room and just get like the last few things to really finish off the house. But before we do that, today the pumpkin cream cold brew is back. So let's go to Starbucks, celebrate the new season and get this day started. Hi, can I get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew? Thank you. Thank you, you too. First sip of the season. It is so good. Okay, we are back from Target and Hobby Lobby, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. The first thing I got are these two bookends, and I think I'm gonna put books on our dresser. I might pick out some cute books that I have. I feel like that will take up a lot of space, and it's stuff that we already own, and I really liked these bookends, so we'll see how that looks. So the next things I got were a steal. So Target has like the end caps, it has the clearance section, and I got all of these candles for 50% off, so I got 
these two which these are the kind i'll never burn but they look really pretty and then i also got these two so this one looks like pottery it's got like a glaze on it and then this one is just a really pretty green when I went to go check out, I put these first and I said, hey, those were in the 50% off area. I just wanna make sure that they are 50% off because if not, I don't wanna get them. And they didn't show up 50% off, but he gave it to me because he trusted me that they were in the 50% off area, which they were. I wouldn't just like make that up. And there were multiples of them, which made me think like no one just put them there. So I feel like my mom will be proud. You should always ask. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got are these green towels for our guest bathroom. I wanted to add some more green in there. So I'm gonna put these towels towels and this candle in there so that's everything from target then i got two things from hobby lobby hobby lobby has beautiful dried flowers and grass and things like that so if you ever need them go to hobby lobby i saw a bunch at target for 20 dollars, and you can get them at hobby lobby for like 12 bucks and then you can get them 50 percent off so definitely go to hobby lobby for those kind of things the last thing i got is this jewelry tray and it's got little birds which reminds me of matthew 6 i love putting birds around that's my thing so i thought this would be perfect for our dresser because i don't have anywhere where i put my jewelry so let's finish everything off let's go decorate the dresser i already have some things around the house that i plan on using so let's go play around with it and see what we can do Okay, so this is everything I'm working with here. So we'll see how it all comes together. I'm gonna try a ton of different variations. I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but this is my wedding bouquet preserved and I love it so much. And I definitely wanna put this up there. So hard to see. This is the after. I think I like it. I feel like it's a good balance of color. The only thing that makes me sad is this is from our kitchen and I really liked it there. So I think I'm gonna keep this here for now, but try to find something taller to put there. That's what I was struggling with, was this side felt too short um, compared to this side. This to me is like perfect. This could use some fixing. So I think I'm just going to keep it like that for now until I find something to put there and then I'll put that back in the kitchen. Then I put this mirror here. This is from our guest bedroom because I wanted to see what a mirror would feel like here. I found a black arch mirror on Amazon and I'd want to actually put it up on the wall and I think it would feel okay because this is resting against the wall and I still feel like I've got plenty of room. So I think that will work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and order that. It's gonna be a while before it gets in and I wanna get this video up. So I will do that in a later vlog. But I feel really good. I'm really happy with the progress that we made with putting things on the wall and just kind of making this house officially feel like a home to us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of putting the finishing touches on our home. I really enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.